is the Dreadquake Mortar any good? It's almost a joke to ask. Yes, it's good, but this video is going to be about its quirks. And it has many quirks. It has more quirks than the main cast of My Hero Academia. Please like, subscribe, and consider donating to my Ko-fi account, linked in the description. I need your support. When you start a battle, one preloaded shot fires. Even pausing a hundredth of a second into the battle won't yet let you aim this. You're one shot down with no control where it goes, but that's just baked into the cake. As you can see with this route I'm taking, the mortar will fire whilst moving without any orders required. Without a dedicated Iron Demon or Skullcracker, and that would be in campaign, the speed is certainly not the 60 that is shown. I'm guessing it's 20 like the Magma Cannon. Either way, it's not high, but this unit can and will fire at the enemy even while its nose is pointing in the exact opposite direction. I imagine it will turn and face to hit targets you designate. The shells are quote-unquote armor-piercing in the sense that they do most of their damage through armor. But hey, some of the damage isn't armor-piercing, so high HP, high armor infantry will still take less. Any direct hit is going to hurt. The AoE is good enough that blobs can be seriously mauled. On the other hand, it's not that enormous. To do damage that's huge to a blob, you have to be lucky. But even with manual targeting, it's up to the Chaos Gods whether you get the ideal hit here and now. The value of the mortar is over the course of the battle, not with any one particular shot. The Dreadquake's value is amplified by the disruption. Cavalry may not take the same damage easily, but they'll be slowed 60%, and that's a huge loss for a cavalry unit. On the other hand, the danger of friendly fire is extreme. Don't fire these anywhere near your own infantry blobs, you will suffer for it. As I showed in my Death Shrieker video, friendly fire, quote unquote, is something you can exploit with your own lords and single entities, and I highly encourage you to do so with a Dreadquake Mortar. While it's night and day compared to hitting your own infantry, which is just cringe. So yes, do this whenever you can. Adding a Skullcracker turns this into another choo-choo of death. I'm skipping the Iron Demon since I don't think its own fire whilst moving works properly in campaign, but the, the auto-target works just fine. Auto mortars at 60 speed by a beefy armored quote unquote single entity feels like one word to me, and that is impunity. Just shell, move, and when you're bored of that or the lines are too close, then you take it to melee. Overall, the potential of this unit is sky high, even if its reliability can be pretty crazy. I'll say one thing it's not boring. It's like a box of random high explosive shells. You never know which boom you're gonna get. Over the course of a battle, or a campaign, there will be plenty of booms, and the Dreadquake will pay for itself many times over. Thanks a lot, take care.